So we talked a lot yesterday on the Twitch live stream, kind of about restarting here in Call of the Wild, and not necessarily like forever, and definitely not deleting the old save, but just as kind of something to do, and you know, at some point you sort of run out of main objectives in the game. So I think restarting would definitely be something to add to that. But that said, one sort of achievement that I'm rather close to here in the main game is 300 diamonds. The fox that we shot in what was yesterday's video was number 295, so I thought we'd, as ducks fly to the ground, uh, kind of begin the road to 300. I at least want to get to that, and again, I'm not restarting forever if I even do that, but, you know, just to round that number out, that's something I want to do. Anyway, that was annoying because he didn't leave any tracks, but I knew we couldn't have gone too far. I'm kind of curious, did I get lung liver or... Nah, just single lung. Full quick kill, though. Obviously no consec, but that no longer matters. So there were a bunch of axes deered over here. I didn't really look too closely. That one might be decent. We'll go over and make sure there's nothing too big. I think that's going to be the best one. Looked kind of bigger at a distance, but at this point we came all the way over here. He has to die. There's actually a fair chance we'll come back here later, because this lake has produced a ton of diamonds for me, and especially diamond black buck. So, for their drink time, we'll probably be back here, but for now, we'll go somewhere else. That might be something. I don't know if I'll ever spot it. Ah, he's just a four. Definitely got the, the diamond rack. Small diamond rack, anyway. That guy. Nice. I think I have seen a diamond level 4 axis. I think somebody got one, so I guess there's a, a chance it could happen anyway. Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't actually think it was going to be a diamond when I said that. Well, that's, that's cool. I've shot... Well, I don't know what button I just hit. Not the button I meant to. I tried to hit F12, the screenshot, and I think I hit backspace. Well, now I gotta go to the lodge and taxidermize that just because it's a special one. But I've shot two, um, two non-max level diamonds. I think just two. I had a teal, and I had a mustier, and neither one I recorded because, of course, I didn't know. That's actually, that's actually evidence of one now. So I need to go to, if you don't know how to do this, you can go to trophy manager, and then your last unsaved harvest will be right here. Tachydermize that, and I'll put them on a plaque just to, like, make sure it saves or whatever. Um, you know what? It'll be easier if I just go this lodge. I realize this isn't part of the hunt, but I want to make sure I save that. And we'll just throw them right there, just so I have them. That actually, clearly by my reaction, that shocked me. That's really, really cool. That's, I mean, as far as parquet diamonds go, you know, access deer aren't very rare. To get a non-max level diamond is actually quite cool. So, since we left the map, we have access to your migration round two. And I know we don't have a diamond this time. But we'll take a decent four. I didn't even think of that till just now when I started to go for that shot. I just completely shot him on the trot in a crowd of other access deer. I mean, they are access deer, so I guess that doesn't mean all that much, but could have definitely ruined a diamond just because it said level 4. That ain't bad either, though. 916 for that one. Alright, I guess this is happening. Where's your heart? <laughs> Not there, clearly. I would have died if he would have hit me there. Do I have medkits? I do. Good. I still want a diamond orange buffalo, by the way. That would just be really cool. Okay, we're just going to actually wait here for a minute, because I just spooked this herd of black buck. I watched them run away. I didn't see anything big, but we do have a max weight estimate track in there, and I, I know I didn't spot any that had that. Plus, you know, black buck are pretty commonly diving, so it's probably worth it to check it out. Ah, that's probably him. I mean, I guess any of those ones that have that estimate for the black buck, the fours can make it. So... We'll just take him. Hopefully that was the one, but I hit a good number of those tracks. I didn't see anything else that had the max estimate. Now, if this one makes diamond, being below max level, that's 
That's not rare. That's not a big deal. Yeah, he's just a gold. 933, so... Decent. Didn't take long at all for them to come back, so... I think that was worth it. I won't lie, though. As much as I just said that Black Buck was worth it, I stayed on this side of the lake, which I don't normally do. And this has been the first thing I've seen in... I don't know. Quite... Quite a long run, so, uh... <laughs> maybe less worth it in that sense for the way it led me. So even still... That's 899. I actually got that heart shot I went for. But I think doesn't look like there's anything up there. So we're pretty much at the end of this lake and before uh Red Deer drink time is over, I think we're going to hop up to this lake. That guy's not bad and also not going to run away. I don't know why I alerted him at that range. A lot of people have actually said this now and I thought it as well. After the true patch, it seems animals are getting alert like a little further away, 10, 15 meters further than they used to, which I'm all for. I I think it's probably a little bit too easy as is being able to run to about 150 from animals. So if they change something, I'm cool with it. I'm just, I would like to know if they actually did or if I'm going insane. Well, that's a decent fella. 844 and we'll make one last fast travel to this lake, which doesn't tend to have a lot of red deer these days, but almost always has level 3 duck. And as much as ducks don't count, it would actually still count towards the total, so we'll give it a look. There are significantly less ducks here than usual. I imagine the time actually matters, and maybe it's earlier than I usually come here. But there's like nothing. We'll take that too anyway. Nice little A65 for that, actually. 110 meter shot with a pistol. So now, I think we're pretty well into, uh, into Black Buck drink time, so we'll give this South Lake a shot again. Well, there you go. I don't know why he's alert. I think there's a Puma, and I bet we can just make that shot. Let him take another step forward, because I think he will. Sweet. So, yeah, I mean... That exact spot has been a spot that's had quite a number of fights. I'll show you exactly where I am. He's like right at the north end of this very southeast lake. That's just been really common. Even in multiplayer, I get diamond black buck down here quite often. But yeah, I don't know. I saw a level 7 puma go through there. I guess that's what he was alert about. But I'm not sitting around waiting for a black buck. Cool. So he's barely the, uh, the bigger horns for a 5. But honestly, bigger horns, smaller horns, diamonds really all I'm looking for in this case. I guess we'll tax it. Got a lodge full of plaques we can find a spot in. That guy's not too bad. I think that's still the smaller 7 rack, but we'll take that. I was just thinking as I fast traveled there, I don't think I want to make a hard shot apparently. Uh, definitely just ruined integrity and that was a single lung shot. I should have been fine. Anyway. I don't think I want uh, a parquet diamond, maybe apart from a red deer, to be number 300. But at the rate we're going here, not looking too bad for getting up close to the number. So I thought I was too low. I was actually just left of the heart. Completely ruined integrity on what would have been 852 gold. At least I didn't do that on a diamond, I guess. Man, we have another max way to black buck track and we're going to the same place where we had the access to i'm just literally running the exact same thing again because i know things are in different zones now so he's gonna end up going around that corner just the same and we should get a look at him anyway still haven't seen him there he is well i think that might actually be the smaller horns but i'm definitely Definitely just going to try to go for that. I'm almost sure that's the smaller one. Alright. This is going a lot better than I thought it would. Oh, hey. What are you? Okay. <laughs> it's a good thing, uh... It's a good thing I made the good shot on the first one. That's a little better. Holy cow! It's like the axis deer earlier. It's just a giant migration. Some Yodier in here too. 
just to even access deer with them. Well, like I said, I don't want uh, a Parquet Diamond as my diamond number 300, because, of course, Parquet Diamonds are a little more common than others. And I think we're probably going to wrap it up. Hang on. That's actually really cool, and that's not the one then that I had the track of, because this is a dark diamond, which I don't know that I've had before. And yeah, he actually does have slightly smaller horns, which is unfortunate because he is that that dark variant, so you can see the the bit of brown towards his back end. I'll definitely have him on a full body platform somewhere, though. I think that's the first time I've had one of them. But, I don't even know if I said it. Now I got confused because I saw the the fact that that wasn't the right one. I think we are going to leave it at that, because I, like I said, I don't want uh, a parquet diamond as number 300, and that's got us to, I believe, 298 with a leucistic to boot. Let's see if that's actually correct. I know how to play this game. 298. So, um, probably tomorrow's live stream then. We'll go, I don't know, Layton, since we just did the Yukon. We'll go somewhere that's not parquet, and we'll continue working on it. So yeah, that was pretty cool. I guess we'll go back to the lodge and take a look at that guy before we wrap up. So this lodge was actually my like lodge where I put stuff and made thumbnails because all the plaques were empty. But then when I did the last trophy lodge tour, I sort of filled this lodge so I could take other trophies down and find them easier to look at their score. But that's pretty nice. I guess we'll do the Axis deer. Oh yeah, I already placed him. Never mind. We'll just do the other black buck beside him then. But you can definitely see, if I put them similar pose, this guy's got much taller horns. So like I said, I, I wish I had the dark, bigger horns, but what do you do? We got a couple of diamonds to add to our diamond count, so I can't complain. But yeah, I think we'll officially wrap this up now. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.